In this Revisto training session, we're going to be focused on the Viewpoint tool. The Viewpoint tool can be found in the 3D environment and is the third option from the left on the toolbar. Over to the right, you'll see various folders coming in from the authoring models, as well as the coordination models. And you'll also see some custom views held here that were generated inside of Revisto. If we want to generate a view inside of Revisto, we can find a place that we wish to save the viewpoint, and it's as simple as choosing the Save Viewpoint tool, creating that new viewpoint and allowing us to save this. As you can see, once that viewpoint's created, I can switch back to any other view that I have, and I can switch back to that viewpoint as well. One thing to keep in mind is that viewpoints in Revisto are meant to save a camera position and a view state. All markups, as well as screenshots that are related to issues will be automatically generated upon issue creation. If I wish to set this view as my home view, I can choose my home icon up top and you'll see that the home icon appears next to that view, meaning that this is the initial home 3D view that I can activate either when I start a project up or simply by choosing the home button down below. As you'll see, I've changed my view, and if I want to return back to my home view, I simply click the home button and I return back to the view here. We also have the ability to create new folders. As you can see here, we've generated a folder. I can name this folder. And after I generate that folder, I can even drag and drop various views into that folder. I can also create subfolders underneath that main folder. In Revisto, you can go as many folders deep on your views as you, as you would like, saving those. And then also we have the ability to search for these various views. So if I'm looking for a hallway view, I can search there. And anytime that we need to delete a view, I can simply choose this item here and it will ask me if I want to delete the selected view. We also have the ability to filter for these views based on section cut, sheet, color coding, and visibility. 